You were sitting there. I can see you. You were watching the Science Channel. That thing you go to every once in a while that lurks somewhere in the obscure, never realms of your Comcast cable. I'll watch with you. We're listening to some guy adjusting his voice trying to be a clone of Morgan Freeman while talking in the speech patterns of Stephen Hawking. He's reading about the alternate universe theory. The proposal reads that in existence there are an infinite amount of alternate realities. Th they were created as the result of different possibilities. In other words, every possibility is seen through another universe. This chain of possibilities is measurable by the singularities in space and time. A singularity refers to the smallest possible amount of something. Typically, it is used to refer to space and time before the Big Bang. Your atheist-leaning mind concludes that this theory is far too precise and meticulous. You realize that for reality to be this exact, nice, and proper, it must have been crafted by a higher being. This higher being, according to your rationale, cannot exist. And thus you dismiss this theory as the work of pseudoscience. You dismiss the reality-changing theory and replace the content of that brain space with the comedic realization. Hey, does that mean somewhere out there, I'm Batman? Yes, yes you are. I've seen you be Batman in trillions of trillions of realities, where the possibilities lead you to donning the iconic identity of the Dark Knight. But you won't believe that I've done this. And who the hell am I? I used to be Finnit. But then, through meditation, I became aware of my condition. Not that I see this theory, I see the reality of the situation. I also become willing to join a higher existence, in fact, I thirst for it. The thought of joining the chaos became my singular desire. Now, before I, I explain my present existence, allow me to explain the inevitable demise of everything that you cherish. Have you ever been driving across a road you have driven across for 30 years? Have complete, solid confidence in the fact that the speed limit on this highway is 45 miles per hour, only to find that the speed limit to be 50 miles per hour? Have you ever been listening to your favorite song in the same format you've always claimed it on, only to hear an entire measure changed, or if most severely removed? These are not your fallacies through perception. They are an actual change in the world beyond your own physical existence. They are not misinterpretation or complete misconceptions, because this is reality. You have slipped between universes. We revisit the concept of singularities, except, except we attempt to grasp the concept of a singularity in time. In this space of time, you slip into another universe that one has changed from the existence that you previously existed inside. Although another singularity before you existed in a previous universe, so you might as well not consider any universe home. When you notice this really odd change, that is a sign that you have traveled through another universe, enough universes, for the accumulation of changes to become even visible. Interestingly, you may not notice these visible changes due to moving to different places or separating yourself from an object or a piece of art. Possibly not even coming in contact with the piece in question. You may also never experience the realization of change because the changes that have transversed as you travel through time and space have far too separate to accumulate in a visible change within the span of your own human lifetime. One notices that as you jump universes, you are in the same position performing the same activity. So one would figure that the bodily versions of us swap universes. When a singularity of time occurs, you enter one universe and replace the other version of you. The other version of you transports to the universe which you previously inhabited. You are unfortunately and completely wrong. Let us give both of you as you know yourself 
and the you of the next universe names. You are Joseph, and the other version of you is David. David after Joseph replaces him has never existed. Due to Joseph's transportation, the previous universe is completely absent of David. Now let us return to Joseph's previous home. That universe now holds an empty vacuum where Joseph used to live. The vacuum of space is violently filled with atoms of air and dust and other things, possibly water. The atoms clash with each other so violently that they explode in rapid succession, causing an explosion so violent that a chain reaction occurs which eventually leads to the devastating collapse of the previous universe. Meanwhile, in the second universe, Joseph and David are so close that Joseph is a perfect substitute for David. But don't worry, Joseph will soon enough replace Daniel. So what is our final conclusion? That with every singularity of time, a universe collapses, and it's your fault. That is your conclusion, sadly for you. You can't control this phenomenon. Everybody you love and hate is suffering the most painful of demises on a constant basis, and it is all because of you. Unfortunately, a human's lifetime is not nearly enough to destroy all of existence. Only a very small portion of universes collapse. Such a small portion that billions upon billions of human lives are not even close to sufficient. Not even the entire biosphere of Earth is sufficient. Not even, the, not even the biosphere of the universe is sufficient. And we're not even factoring in this whole theory that everybody exists in copies and variations in other universes. We're talking about an amount of parallel structures so vast that they can sustain populations unimaginably large. Through the unimaginably large populations due to do cause plenty of misery. I do estimate that before the human race extinguishes, a major portion of reality will succumb to a color darker than black. I do hope the entirety. So since many of your realities are about to collapse, and you are now completely self-conscious of this reality, why don't I explain myself? I am the color darker than black. I am cathfully into ever creation or at least that's how you would interpret my name I used to be a person who jumped universes just like you you selfish being of life but then I had my great realization when I experienced this I enjoyed swimming in the primordial soup that makes up existence reality emotion love people material everything but since I have evolved my being to grasp control of this chaos, in other words, I've practically conquered God. All realities, when they fall, they join to form pure chaos, and I am the Lord of Chaos. And now that you are aware of me and your inevitable fate, I ask for company. This collection of dead, rotting, pure existence is beginning to bore the hell out of me. Come with me to a universe where the differences aren't merely minuscule or slightly noticeable. Come with me in a reality where you rule the world. Come with me where you rule the world with an iron fist. Come with me where you rule your sister with the greatest emotional domination. Come with me where you regularly soak your offspring to molten lava. Come to me where the apocalypse is your creation. Come to me where you are the Dark Lord. And if you don't go with me, I won't mind. You're, you're, you're gonna get there eventually, and you won't even realize it.